Hello and welcome to Tuesday Night Torg. Uh, we are live on the Ulysses International Channel. I am JM, your GM, and these are my four, well, three quarters of the four horsemen of our Torg game. Uh, we're going to jump in right away, but first we got have some news to go over. If you like Torg, and if you have money that is burning a hole in your pocket, go check out GameOnTabletop.com because the Tharkold Cosm... Uh, crowdfunding has just started um tharkold is of course where all of these wonderful cyber demons are from uh it is post this post-apocalyptic high psionics uh russia uh mad max uh you know Radi hellraiser hellraiser Terminator. uh radiation mad Fallout. max beats chernobyl that's right um <laughs> but not the hbo show the actual chernobyl um so check it out it is on um is on game on, game tabletop. on tabletop yep and uh so yes we're gonna start part seven of the four horsemen tonight uh when we left off edith was captured by werewolves no uh i won't say conveniently but that is where we're at but before we get into that as we always do we just want to take a second to thank uh Everybody who leaves a comment, uh, Joshua, I appreciate that you liked Bad Luck Tom. Um, he was a, uh, a inadvertent reoccurring character. And uh, thanks to Paul, who uh, left us a great comment uh, saying that, they are, that he is really enjoying the game. He appreciates what's going on. Uh, Paul, thank you. Um, yeah, so when we last left our... Four horsemen, um, well, three horsemen. You guys were s heading uh, away from Philadelphia, having left that city behind, making it to a small airport. And unless you had something pressing to do in the air or along the way, we're going to start with the small plane flying through the air, shaking as you kind of skirt the edges of the living land. But New York City is, as the sun starts to rise, you can see New York City and you can see where the Delphi Council's headquarters is located. Um, it is a massive aircraft carrier, um, kind of just set off uh, the coast of New York City. And Question. Yes. So is all of New York City covered in jungle and dinosaurs or half or... Uh, I mean, they're sitting out in the, in the bay, but how much of the city it's is... It's hard to tell it from the air. Is what is how I will put that. It's hard to hard to tell. Um, there was a uh, a Maelstrom bridge that opened up in New York. Do do do. Yeah, there was a Maelstrom bridge that opened up in New York. Um, just maybe just a little bit north of that. So it is it is sort of a mixed zone. Uh, with definitely south of New York, um, fully fully incorporated into uh, the living land. So, like New Jersey, northern New Jersey's living lands, and that's a that's a that's a good delineation there. It's kind of always been like that. Right? <laughs> I was thinking <laughs> it, Jersey but I wasn't jungle, going to make the joke. <laughs> Jersey is a jungle. <laughs> I'm about to look at that map in detail because, you know, I grew up just north of New York City. So it seems like the town I grew up in is where the bridge sat down and is now destroyed. Well, um, I mean, is that a good thing or a bad thing? It was a nice town when well, I was well, there. there you go. Nice um, we also know that uh, one of the characters from the Eternity Shards game is from that area as well. Um, Shawnee's character, uh, her scion, who uh, martyred herself to uh, end the threat of the Red Dragon of Wales. But that is neither here nor there. Uh, but you can watch it on YouTube. Go back and watch it. Nicely done, Mark. Uh, so you guys are in this small plane. Turns out uh, Mori is not just an awkward face. He is also a pretty damn good pilot of both watercraft and aircraft. And uh, so you are all on this small um uh airplane uh the you know big headsets on as you can feel the plane kind of shake as you fly over new york city 
And again, you see the uh, the aircraft carrier before you. Uh, so kind of crackling over the... Um, wireless? The wireless. Uh, well, actually, it's all wired in the, uh, in the uh, airplane. All right, so how do you guys want me to put it down? Do you want me to try and do we do we have authority? Do you have authority? Do we have do we need like badges or papers or code words? What thinking badges? I'm still I'm still really Do you think she's okay? We'll we'll find her and we'll get her back. Lady Salvo says very determinedly. Right. Right. Focus on the mission at hand, Maury. All right. <laughs> There's a small airstrip, and he kind of points uh, to the north of the plane. Uh, you can see a small, like, municipal airport that seems that it's still sort of up and running. We can land over there. Um, the Frenchman gave us codes to land there. I mean, I have I have a complete flight plan. But if you think we can get to the aircraft carrier, I've never set a plane down on something like that before. This seems like a bad time to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in yeah, next week for the next game. tour game. No. <laughs> nah, we're Storm Knights. We'll survive. Maury, on the other hand, just tuck and roll on a tarmac, you know. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I, v, do you have a way to contact said council and say we're coming in hot? Um. I don't think I have a number for them. I have our phones, but I don't think I have. We've got clearance to land at the air at the uh, the airstrip. I think we should land there and figure it out afterwards. All right, all right. So you can clearly see the USS Ronald Reagan, but the the plane banks towards the north and starts to approach the runway. Uh, several minutes later, you're on the ground. There are a couple of people who seem, you know, they're just kind of running out, giving lights, directing you to the, uh, the hangar. And within the hour, you are boots on the ground in New York City. Uh, Maury kind of, uh, I do mean, do you want me to keep the, I won't say the engine running because that's just bad for the plane, but. Yeah, stay stay nearby in case we need you. Okay, if you need anything, I'm, I'm assuming you'll call someone else. But if you need to get back up in the air, I'm your guy. Lady Sal was going to take off her hat and actually kind of like wipe some sweat off her brow. Is it normally this humid, she says out loud, just sort of looking around at the city? Yes, and sometimes when the wind blows in a certain direction, you can really taste the air. I haven't been here in a while. Puts her hat back on. All right. What is your plan? So how far out is the landing strip from the aircraft carrier? You're probably about... Two uh, sessions away. As the, as the crow flies, you're probably only about seven miles, but you're guessing that you're going to have to drive, you know, sort of through the city to get back to where you need to be. Okay. And did the Frenchman set us up with vehicles? I mean, I know we were cleared to land here. Are there vehicles waiting for us, or do we need to find a room? There is a vehicle waiting for you. Uh, you see a black SUV that sort of pulls up, and a gentleman steps out, and he nods to the three of you. Compliments of my employer. He says, this settles the debt. The ledgers... That is up to you. We'll find the books. She puts her hand out for the keys. He tosses <laughs> them to you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and I'll kind of kind of lean into towards V and say, "Do you want to check this thing for tracking devices and bugs?" Sure, I will check the car for tracking devices and bugs. All right. Um, or bombs, maybe. Go <laughs> bombs. I mean, it's not the first time. The usual. All right. So, 
I'll kick the tires. <laughs> they feel solid and full of uh, <laughs> air. Uh, Nitroglycerin. <laughs> give me a computer, uh, a computer roll, there, V. Ooh, great. Your favorite, okay. right? Yeah. It's favorite, favorite. Yeah. When you roll a nine and a two, it doesn't really do you a whole lot of good. The nine is still way better than a two. Right. I'll spend a positive. Well, what does that give you? Uh, it gives me a computer's a nine, gives me an 11. Okay. So that's good enough to get a standard success. Okay. Um. Then it has active gps and it actually has a route programmed in already but as you kind of go through it there doesn't seem to be any sort of active tracking devices anywhere on the um on the car you do know that if you do use the gps that is something that somebody can uh passively monitor if you will uh, but it does have the route right down to um uh the harbor um, it doesn't appear to be bugged, you guys. Um, we may want to use our, we may want to memorize the map and then turn the GPS off if we don't really want anyone to know what we're doing. But I mean, the Frenchman knows what we're doing. So. If only someone had a computer to do that. Everybody get in. We can do this while we drive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, at first, you I were just shifter and going. Me. Yeah, where yeah, is there a shifter? No, no. <laughs> is it automatic? <laughs> this is an automatic. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, so I, I take an unnecessarily long time adjusting the mirrors <laughs> and looking around and finally I kind of break down and go, I don't I don't see how to change gears. Oh, it does it for you. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. She, she sounds very hesitant and she's like her hand just sort of groping and nothing uh, but I'll I'll start the car and I, I guess try you know she said she doesn't not going to know how to how, for, for a while we just sit there while the wheels turn and then somebody points out that it's on the steering column and just, oh oh right okay <laughs> all right so you get uh you guys pile into the SUV uh, Lady Salvo is driving. Anton V, where are you guys at? You can take Shotgun V and help him navigate, and I'll be able to cover us from the backside, uh, either window. Does it have a sunroof? Um, would you like it to have a sunroof? Yes. For a possibility? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. You'll thank me when we roll over and need to escape. I'll turn on the radio. Okay. Anything specific that you stop on? Just music. Just music. All right. You you uh, as you kind of uh, start driving, you realize, egad, there's nearly an infinite number of stations on this thing. Um, something satellite. Uh, but you find something <laughs> that you you enjoy as you start to pull out. You uh, are, so you're trying to memorize the route. V, or at least uh, use your own computers to do that. All right, yeah, it's, that. it's pretty simple for you to just switch, uh, switch the thing off, and you start to head into. Excuse me. Um, uh, New York. Uh, this place feels. City. It feels like it feels like that parking garage for some reason. When the. When when um, Lapis's followers tried to set up that Stella, mm -hmm. I'm getting the same weird feeling here. Uh, you definitely get that. Uh, you can see that there are the parts that you're heading into, at least far off across. Like some of the bridges have massive vines that just kind of encroach upon them, and you can definitely see. Uh, you don't. None of you are from Core Earth, but you're pretty certain that uh, there shouldn't be jungle this far north. Uh, but you definitely see things and rather large shadows flitting over the trees far to the south. But I'd like um, all of you to go ahead and give me a 
Um, just give me a straight mind roll. Ooh. I turned on the AC on high in the car, by the way. Oh, it is. This thing oh. spits ice cubes. Woo. Nat 20. Followed by an 11, so it's a oh. 31 plus 10. Dice. 17 mind check. Mm. A torque die is going into dice jail. Why is that, Mark? <laughs> Because it sucks. I'm talking the official Torg die. It, it no, no, it has betrayed you, said the GM happily. One too many times. So I had to use a possibility because I rolled another two. So that's a uh, ten. I'm, I'm feeling, I'm not saying that I'm feeling really good about tonight. <laughs> But I'm just putting them out now, Jam. The, right. No, that, that makes that makes perfect sense. They just didn't kidnap Edith. They kidnapped our mojo. All right. So uh, what did everybody get? 17. 17? 10. 10? Two. Two. Anton? Oh, no. Anton. <laughs> like, oh, no. This music oh, God. that Lady Salvo picked, it's great. You've never heard anything anything like it in Tharkold. Uh, and uh, as the temperature decreases and the humidity sort of flees from the car in the face of the air conditioning, it reminds you of, of home. It's cold. It's dry. It's good. Um, v, you're the f you and Lady Salvo are the first ones to pick up that you were being followed. Um, you leave the airport and very soon there is, and like Lady Salvo has sort of picked up on this. It's hot, it's humid. And you know, the first bike that appears behind you, um, a racing bike, person dressed all black leathers, big heavy helmet on, um, seems a little suspicious. But by the time that one is joined by three more, and no matter how you turn, these bikes, not only are they pacing you, but they're slowly gaining on you. Um, you can tell. I floor it. What was that? I floor it. I floor it. All right. So we're going to go into a chase scene then. Uh, but I will say with a, with a, uh, a 17, Lady Salvo, you are the ones... Or you are the one who sees um, a uh, sort of a submachine gun uh, that is strapped. One of them kind of slips around, and the and the that's that's yeah. I see that in the mirror, and that's why I gun it. <laughs> okay, so chases in Torg. Uh, these are used with dramatic scenes, and basically the way this works is that the uh, uh, the difficulty of each step is equal to the fastest vehicle in the uh, in the chase. In this case, these are going to be the uh, the uh, motorcycles, which are speed value 15. So the target number for all things in this scene uh, to kind of escape are, is going to Ooh. be 15. Each step on the drama deck represents um, you guys, your guys' relative position to each other. So if... The bikes, if you guys get to C and the bikes have uh, not progressed past A, then that represents that you've put a lot of distance between yourself and, and the other ones. If you guys get to D first, you have escaped. If they get to D first, they have caught up with you and things get a little bit more intense. Um... Again, in doing this, really, Lady Salvo's job is going to be to uh, sort of advance through the steps. You two have the options of either doing things to aid her, uh, looking ahead to you know say, "Hey, go down that alley," um, trying to take actions to make it harder for for the people who are following you to keep up. But this is this is how chase scenes work. Like a lot of things in Torg, they are resolved with drama cards. So. Any questions before we start our first chase scene? Can the song be Don't Stop Believing? 
Oh, of course. Journey All comes right. on. Now that's going to be in my head. <laughs> now, now it's really stuck in my head. Try not to sing it, JM, he says to himself. All right, so the first card... some background noise for the viewers. That's right. If you're listening at home, feel free to turn on uh, Don't Stop Believing while we do this chasing. All right, so... Yeah, we don't want to get... We don't want to get demonetized. That's so right. Not... <laughs> um, the first card is always the hard way. Heroes go first and get inspiration. Um, any multi-action is an approved action. However, uh, as you are driving down, it's one of those classic things, Lady Salvo. You are coming to an intersection and your light goes red and you can see traffic starting to uh starting to come together and it is uh this is a critical problem if you don't make your test here something really bad is going to happen but heroes go first and with inspiration don't worry lady salvo rubbing is racing um let's see here you all recover two shock congratulations uh none of you have shock but you know if you did I'll save that for later. That's right. All right. So, um, heroes go first. What are you guys doing? Obviously, Lady Salvo will be needing to make a um, uh, the drive test, but Anton will after he gets thrust back into the seat, spills his water that he was trying to drink. Oh no! <laughs> no, your clean water. His his home water from Tharkold because the. He started reminiscing, and you and the rush he caps it. Because you haven't seen the guys on the bikes yet. That's right. <laughs> Not the bikes. <laughs> uh, so, so Anton, I'm going to give you a possibility uh, for that. Uh, v, what are you doing? Because you clearly saw the bikes. Yeah, is there any way I can hack the traffic lights? Ooh. Um, give me you a computer Shadow. roll. Uh, this is going to be a difficult task for you. So we're going to set this to um, a 16 because you're trying to do it quickly, expediently, and sort of override kind of what exists here. Yeah. Can I still act? Uh, if you want the possibility, yeah. no, because you are bebopping to the music and spilling your water and now have been oh. alerted to the bikers. Uh, okay. I need to start banning all of my dice. Yeah, I think I think my response would be we've got company to kind of <laughs> done done. done. Yeah. Oh, had I been thinking, I should have put a little uh, cropped a little steering wheel and put it up in front of Russ, Ross's camera. So that... <laughs> Next time, how cool would that have been? So I need to get to a sixteen. Yes, I'm gonna play action. And hit 16 exactly. All right. So, um, Ross, as you <laughs> yes, as you come straight down uh, the street, uh, you can see that the lights immediately turn from uh, red to green, and there's still a lot of confusion in the in the street as people. There's no yellow light. They like <laughs> they just flip the switches. Um, so I'm going to reduce, I'm not going to increase the target number for this. It will still be a 15. Go ahead and make your roll. And I should actually okay, probably to, get dice out. I want to make a multi-action. Okay, go for it. Uh, if I need to spend a possibility for this, let me know. But there is a, uh, one, of those, one of those trucks that, that does the car carrying thing, and it's got the ramp lower. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to... I'm gonna I'm gonna drive over and hit the ramp so that the car is gonna go up and twist in the air, okay, to get over the traffic. And while we're in midair, I'm gonna lean out the window and shoot one of the bikes. All right, I would like that will be a possibility for that to kind of set that okay. in there, but that's great. Um, go ahead. It is a multi-action, and you will you will get the uh, you will get another flurry card as that is the next card on the top of the deck. All right. So uh, it's one. It's a multi-action. So it's one roll for and it counts for both. Right? It counts for both, and then the, it's a okay. minus two to each each result. All right. Well, here we go. 
Okay. Luckily, uh, <laughs> one of the skills is favored, so I guess I get to re-roll that. Yeah. Okay. Because that was a two. Uh, not much better. So we will uh, we will spend the drama card on that. Okay. To act as if it was a possibility. Okay. Uh, and I will throw a possibility as well on it. All right. Possibility in this turn because uh, my rolling is not good. Okay, there we go. So after after a drama and a possibility, I have a total of uh, twenty six on the die, which is a plus nine. Uh, which gives me 24, 22 on the drive and 29 on the shoot. Holy cow. All right. Well, you definitely <laughs> advanced to B. I had to, I had to put a lot of resources in there to get, to get the right number. <laughs> All right. So, um, you got, uh, sorry, what was that again on the, on the shoot? You had a 20 something. 29. Yeah, 20, 29, yeah. 29 on the shoot. That is an outstanding success. So go ahead and give me the uh, the damage roll. I was ready for right. you. Oh, sorry. You missed. He did 30. Uh, that'll be a 21 AP2. 21 AP2. I'm going... The, the, the object is basically shoot his tire out and just have him, like, skid you know, off the road. All right. Uh, you... I think the song just changed on the radio to another one by just us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you successfully, you successfully shoot the tire, uh, the bike. Oh, that's a 10. Uh, so a 16 is a total of plus three. All right, and uh, so, right, Lady Salvo, you have got the SUV up. It's spinning in the air as you shoot over the traffic. Wait, at... wait, 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 wait. S slow mo for for uh, 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 Mark in the back there as water comes out and then goes back in. <laughs> <laughs> it's so precise that you get the water back in the canteen. Um, and as you shoot. Um, you hit the front of the tire uh, of the of the lead biker who starts flipping. You know the, the the tire kind of skids out, and you see the the biker kind of crouch down, get its feet up on the seat, and it times its jump, and it leaps over the traffic, and it as you right the SUV, you feel it hit the top of Can the I vehicle. Play a card? Um, what card is that? opponent fails uh so if we're going into com if you're going to be shooting you're going to be in combat rules so is it in your or we're going to say are you going to put it in your oh uh well yeah i guess because my... technically we are in we are in uh okay. there will be combat well, I, could, I couldn't have played drama if that's the case so you know we'll we'll go into it to this next round i'll let you play it mark uh so he okay. goes to leap and he hits the ground and he tumbles and rolls and gets to his feet and starts running after you. He does not land on the bike. Is he uh, running like this? I really thought wings would unfurl and he would just glide or something. Yeah, you hear this. Easy Terminator running. Yeah, the very <laughs> slow motion. Um, uh, to you, Lady Salvo, you when you have when you're listening to the music and you're moving faster because of it, everything you you move with this inhuman fluid grace. Um, this looks as if this person, it's very spastic and jerking as if he's sort of uh, maybe spasming in one direction and is kind of controlling this sort of jerky movement. The other two guys. Oh, so what you're saying is she moves with inhuman grace and he's just inhuman. He's just inhuman. Um, the other two make their rolls and they kind of weave through the traffic you see one of them kind of gets way down sticks his leg out in a way that um you would expect <laughs> sparks yes yeah, sparks flying and then he kind of they write right the bike and they are uh, continuing after you all right next round they're on the run you can go uh oh and i give you your card uh a b c or d so 
you guys have a clear shot straight down um, the street. Uh, it's a dramatic scene. The heroes go first, and the villains, of course they do, suffer a setback. So okay. from now, you want us to start playing the cards as we go? Yes, put them into your, okay. put them into your pile. Mark, okay. you can put one into your pile. Uh, you guys can all put one into your pile from that first round. All right, driver faces an obstacle that will slow them down or force them off the regular path. So if my guys don't make their roll this round, they go back to step A. All right, heroes, you are up first. There's one on foot, two on bikes. Uh, can I go? Okay. I'm going to try to use telekinesis to grab, because, you know, it's a city and there's trash cans everywhere, and just use that to fling them into the street to make them crash or at least slow down to swerve. Right. So in this case, you're going to be increasing the, this is going to essentially be a maneuver or a trick or something. You are trying to impose a penalty on yeah. them. Go for yeah. it, Mark. Give me your TK. Now, is, that, is that the approved action? The approved action is intimidate. <laughs> so Wednesday is the day to put out all your rusty nails. on. That's on, right. In the, in the... That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> if this were a roche it would be the day to bring out your dead but it is not so we will move past that <laughs> do i still have to get a 15 to do anything to them or is that a different uh you will have to hit their their value they get a bonus to things they do because of their speed but okay all right, and this the guy on foot, this will be his last chance to make his leap. Because uh, as fast as they are, they are not car fast. There's like people fast, these guys, and then car fast. In case you're wondering at home, those are the official range bands. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just going to possibly, I got pretty good, but I wanted to really shine. So, 7 is 10. Yeah, that raises it to 23 for my telekinesis to get it and do... Which one do? 23 is the what I rolled. Okay, so that allows you to do the maneuver things with your strength. Yeah, that puts it... Oh, yeah, that's, that's an outstanding greater range plus 4 to my strength. All right, so you got a 23. All right. Yep. Um, so that is a is a um, a good success. So uh, I assume you want to raise their difficulty number by four? Yes, please. All right, so for so what are you pulling out of the streets? What does it look like sort of, uh, right? You're, you're driving down a mostly clear path at this point. You can see behind you. Uh, Lady Salvo can see what's going on sort of like, let's zoom in on that scene. Lady Salvo, you can kind of see uh, your own face in the side mirror. It says objects are closer than they appear. What is Lady Salvo see kind of rushing into the street uh, behind her, between her and the uh, the bikers? Mark? Oh, I thought he was... Uh, yeah. what? He says this, instead of me just turning around, I pop the sunroof and stand up, gesture at them, and trash cans, trash... The, the little newsstand uh, to get your free newspapers for the, the penny traders or whatever yeah. they call them nowadays, those get flung out. Newspapers, if, if it was the 1930s Nile Empire or Newsboy. <laughs> that's, My how well you, that's how well you rolled. You dragged someone all the way from the Nile Empire. Um, all right, right, so I'm going to increase their, their DN for this round by four. Just think of the typical high-action somebody always hits the fruit cart and fruit goes everywhere, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So there's just all kinds of things flung into their way. All right. Uh, who wants to go next? V or Lady Salvo? And um, I think we, can I find this a new route? You can't so find a new route. In, but they seem to be keeping up, so I'm wondering if they have. Okay, so you want to find a new route. What are you looking for in this route? Is this like an attempt to 
make find a place that might make it more difficult for them are you trying to lose them in the in the chase what's kind of your goal with trying to find a new route trying to lose them because they seem to be keeping up probably because they're inhuman but they might also have some intel on where we're headed and how we're getting all right well let's call this let's make this interesting let's call this a trick roll as you were kind of looking at the maps, uh, I imagine in 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 my mind's eye, we've kind of gone from the the uh, the the side mirror kind of pulled back, and now we're seeing sort of your view with all of the maps that you can only see because of your cyber eye. Give me a trick to see if uh, we can find a better route. Uh, that is an eleven. That is an eleven. All right, so um, Maddie, they're already um, uh, stymied, or they're very stymied. So what we can do with this is we can make it easier for Ross to try and lose them by reducing his difficulty number by two. All right, so Lady V calls out to, or V calls out to Lady Salvo, take this right here! And... Uh, you are up, Lady Salvo. Instead of shooting for a 15, you only need to get to a 13 for this round because of the new route. <coughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, we will we'll, we'll just haul on that wheel and and, and try and get over there. Uh, <clears throat> Ooh, it's a good thing you lowered that difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> Go team! Guys, tell a story. Wait, why am I rooting for I you? I got an 11. I got an eleven, Jan. Okay. Uh, Any? Do you do you want to spend a possibility on it? <laughs> I, I have a. I played my possibility hero card, so you can use that if you want. It's in play. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, I, I. After my last action, I played my hero. Yeah, I, so I did hear him say. Throw that. that out there. You can use it. All right. All right, go for so it, Ross. Hero card. Spend a possibility. If the chat doesn't get anything, it's if you play Torg, use your cards. Uh, the chat suggested that this round, Lady Salvo, do the the old classic of turning the right blinker on and then turning left as a trick. Oh, that's a great one. <laughs> that's a great one. That's a great one. So so I have a lot of trouble at first. Like, uh, I... I so, somehow I, I move something in the cabin and the radio switches over to like, this is the crop report for May 24th. <laughs> and I'm like, oh God, ah. you know, like, I'm like desperately trying to get back to some music. And that's when I look up and she says, turn right here. Ah, and we do this horrible, I mean, just fishtailing uh, side turn. Uh, but I got a grand total of 22. All right, so. so that is a good success. So that'll also make your next step easier. And it does fit in uh, the art, not an argument, the discussion in chat is saying that uh, they think that Lady Salvo is more of a left blinker than crash through the Museum of Natural History sort. So you kind of come <laughs> up these stairs and down this oh, other no. set and find, and find the road again. Um, nice. All right, so this is my role. Uh, unfortunately, with all of the trash, this is nearly impossible for this guy to, he's, I don't think he's going to be able to make it to you. But we're gonna we're gonna see. This is what they do. Um, a fifteen on the die says that that's a plus two. That would have been good enough, but not good enough for this. Um, all right. So the one that Lady Salvo knocked off the bike, you do not see as you kind of find your new path. Let's see if the other two, because uh, if they fail, not only do they not advance to C like you guys, but they drop back to A because of all of the because uh, they have a setback. All right, a 13 for one and a 10 for the other, which is a total of 23. So one guy just follows the path. Like uh, The other guy with a 13 is at a plus one. He's locked one. on. He's like, he's like one of those... Uh... One of those racers in a in a video game. He's just he's he's glued to the road. That's right. Uh, so the other guy hits the fruit cart and goes flying off his bike. Uh, lands. No, in the, the other guy. The other guy is following, but not nearly as close as that guy who rolled so well. So you guys are both on step. Uh, you guys did a. This was step B. Raha! I know how to do 
the alphabet. All right, so next round. Oh, this one's called Uh Oh. Oh, this is this is Uh Oh. Uh, it is uh, Uh Oh. <laughs> villains go first. It is uh, both a critical problem and a setback. So in a chase oh, scene, oh, what no. this says is like, uh, basically there is an obstacle in your path. And if you don't solve it, you guys are going to drop back to step A. So all forward momentum has stopped if you if you don't make your roll. Now, Ross has a plus two because of what happened last round. So he only needs to hit a 13 this round. Um, but the villains go first and they are close. So one of them is just going to try and... Uh, advance along which he is keeping pace with you and this is actually a multi-action he pulls out that machine gun and he sort of puts it up like the barrel right up against the glass window and pulls the trigger uh so mark does a i climb up on top of the car so i'm not inside anymore hey! <laughs> are you surfing <laughs> No, no. Go ahead. Do your best through the armored glass. Oh, it's not armored glass. You do get a bonus to oh, cover. Oh, damn Frenchman. <laughs> Got you good. Um, sorry about that. Uh, does a 14 hit your dodge? Uh, does it hit it by, does it beat it by more than five? No, I have a 10 in dodge. Okay, what is your toughness? 12. All right, so up. I'm slow but tough. Up by two uh, means you will just take two shock from that. Glass shatters in the back. A bullet kind of grazes Anton's leg. Both back window or both you know side windows are just gone. Uh, the other one. Wait, I will. I will utter a utterly Nile Empire oath when the glass shatters and guys start shooting inside the car. Great Caesar's ghost. <laughs> Is it great Cleopatra's ghost? Right, well, yeah. Well, it's still kind of both. I mean, all but, all I remember great Mark is Anthony's ghost? The, uh, <laughs> was it the, uh, the George Bonnie? Reeves Superman where uh, Caesar's ghost actually showed up because uh, Perry was always exclaiming great Caesar's ghost and he accidentally summoned him in one episode? Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, it's a deep pull. Um, all right, wow. so uh, the other one... Uh, Fails to get his bike. Uh, his bike hits one of those trash cans that uh, sort of was knocked over by Ross's last roll. And oh, he tries to leap and he rolls a one. So those of you inside the vehicle, the glass shatters. And then you hear a dump dump as uh, something landed under the back tire. And Lady Salvo just kept driving. All right, it is your guys' turn. So again, remember, there is, you all have the potential for a setback here. Uh, the approved actions are defend or trick. And um, there is the critical problem that if you do not, if Ross does not make this roll. Well, can we, can you give us some context for what this might be? Is there like a fuel truck pulling out in front of us? I'm glad, or I'm glad that you asked. Bus, so is there a bus full of nuns coming the other direction? I mean... <laughs> so the setback that you are all suffering from is you can see there are two more bikes that are coming down side streets towards you the possible critical problem is sort of the classic scenario of up ahead you do see the bus that has broken down on the side of the street oncoming traffic is now down <laughs> to sort of one lane and so it's can you how do you navigate this you can see they're currently offloading the bus i won't say it's a bus of nuns but they definitely are a group of people with bad habits so so there's a bus broke down so we have to go one lane <laughs> ross you need to trick and and scrape off our rider against the bus it's a Ooh, maneuver okay. it's the bus a la wiley e. coyote i can try i can blind him with my pyrotechniques to trick him so you're saying you're you're gonna try and blind him i'm gonna try to trick him by light? getting pyrotech my my flame in his eyes to blind him to trick him okay more than damage him all right so he doesn't hit the bus and v will punch him through the open window 
What do you? What? What? Do, what <laughs> you you Let only me, get to say what you're doing, Anton. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm just saying, when the chips are down, V just punches people. That is true. V has that killer knockout she punch. Has a mean right hook. Yeah. Ooh, Nineteen is plus six. It gives me a nineteen on my roll, which for pyrokinesis. Uh, what's his dodge or dex? That's where I got to hit. Um, you have to hit his dodge or dex. That's my target number. That's not great for you, my friend. Um, his dodge is 17. Oh, so 19 hits him. 19 will hit him. (laughs) I'll use willpower to add three to it because I beat it by two. So I'll beat it by five. So that gives me a good success. Now you were trying to trick him, not actually damage him, correct? Yeah, but whatever extra, I mean, that still adds to it, right? The trick? If I spend a, a Oh, card. yeah, yeah. It goes from a simple um, plus two to the DN to a plus four to the DN. So it makes it that they, they need to hit a 19 as opposed to a... Um, yeah, yeah, I'm not trying to damage them. It's just trying to increase the level. No, of that the works. And, Mark, you will get a, a Destiny card. Uh, this is a hero card. I shuffle the deck. Every week, Ross, and I feel like the same cards sort of rise to the top. <laughs> we get the cream. We skim that's, the that's cream. Right. Just, that's all we want. We just want the best <laughs> cards that are in the deck. V, what are you doing? Oh, sorry. V or Lady Salvo. I'll let V go if she wants to punch somebody or whatever. <laughs> um, can I... So, the bus is in an intersection... Or is it just stopped in front of us? It's not in an intersection. Uh, it, is, it is not in the intersection. It's sort of blocking um, the traffic in your in your direction. It looks like a tire blew out, and it sort of fishtailed and came to a stop. And so they've taken the other side of, uh, of traffic and kind of split it down the middle. So, you know, people are kind of going around one side and everything's being forced down the other. Uh, and let it never be said that I only accept the good from the chat. The chat giveth and the chat taketh away. Uh, they said I should have a possibility removed from my pool uh, due to the bad pun that I made. And I, I, will, <laughs> I will sustain that. I am down one possibility on my pool. So, V, what are you doing? <laughs> Um, so are we in in the city or are we on a freeway? You are in the city. Okay. Can I see if there is an alley we can hard turn down? Ooh. Yeah, give me a yeah. find roll. Ooh, that's an 18. So that's a 15. It's a 15. Um, yeah, you see you see an alley coming up ahead that if, if Lady Salvo can hit, uh, she can avoid the critical setback. So what I will say is for this, um, if you take the alley, Lady Salvo, um, it will, uh, because it's a tight fit, it will jump the DN uh, back up to 15. So it'll negate your, your, your um, plus two from earlier, but you will avoid the setback. So you will just not advance to C. You will stay at B. If you, you, you won't go all the way back to start if you don't make the roll. So it is okay. your choice. What would you like to do? Yeah, that. I want to do that. <laughs> okay. And I will play <laughs> transfer. I'm trying to remember what transfer does. Uh, the card? Yeah. So I, I'll put transfer in the middle. So I have hero and transfer out. Uh, transfer hero, allows you to give any number of your possibility to other storm knights. Right. Are we still playing cards like it's combat? We are. Okay. So that's what I'm. So I put. I have two out now. All right, Lady Salvo. I put hero out again. Uh, someone at the back right, of the bus, go. the one person who wasn't paying attention, like looks out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm laying on the horn too, right? Uh, uh, uh. uh here we go. Okay, that's an 18 on the die. So Ooh, that's plus five. That's nice. Uh, that's a total of 20, two zero. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna haul down the the uh, the shifter to get in four wheel drive. 
And we like jump the curb, drive through a small park, like family with a picnic is just staring at us as we drive by. <laughs> then we, we curl into the alleyway, like lose a mirror, pong, as we go past a telephone pole. And now we are yeah. we're, we're parallel to the, uh, the bus. Yep. All right. I love it. All right. So last card. Oh, well, the chase will continue because there is no D for either of you. Uh, the villains are fatigued, so they immediately take two shock. Um, <laughs> they get they get they get whacked by all the nuns. <laughs> <laughs> um, you do see they smashers. seem they seem to the last the last oh no because the other two bikers have sort of joined the third one who's trying to get through. Uh, you can definitely see they seem to be flinching and shying away. Um, from the nuns but they pull through <laughs> and uh here we go here's our uh, our bike rolls um do 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 i only i'm uh, i these guys have two possibility but they only have one now because live by the chat die by the chat um and they're gonna spend all right so they have made their they have made their roll they are catching up and with that two of them are going to attempt their leaps uh so anton you're kind of standing out and you see these the two riders they get up on the back of the bikes and they push off and their bikes just go into the sidewalks one kind of kicks up the curb and crashes through a mirror through like a like into like a like onto a beautiful wedding dress uh the other one kind of skids out bounces off a car and then just sort of lands in the middle of the street the third guy's on you but you now have two people on top of uh the the suv with you they sort of they alight with almost cat-like grace and they take uh they take swings at you what is your melee combat did we pick up swings going through the park why don't you guys take possibility away from mark when he makes puns so it's, uh, it's it's my my melee defense no it's uh anton's melee defense because he's hey, the I'm one standing up yeah I will counter their punches with my M4 carbine. What's your what's your melee no, what's your melee combat, Mark? Me me eight. Alright. Uh all my powers in my mind. Well <laughs> which I shall unleash momentarily. Uh so um Mark, one of them, uh so Kind of zooming back into the car, Lady Salvo and V, you can see Anton's legs kind of sticking down, you know, in the rear view mirror, and all of a sudden he is drawn forth from the no. car. Oh um, no. Anton, uh so the guy who hit you uh kind of wraps his like gets you in a uh a half Nelson and deals uh thirteen uh damage. So what's your toughness is ten, you said? 12. 12? All right, so you will take another two points of shock. Um, okay. But the the other guy, um, you just see... Edmond, you're way tougher than I am. Uh, he takes a second, and he lifts up uh, his helmet, and you can see... The, it looks like the muscles under his skin are corded and wound really tight, and his lips have drawn back, and he has a mouthful of fangs, and uh, he will bite you. I am familiar with this kind of creature. You are not. This is not a oh, cyber not a... demon. Oh, I thought these were cyber demons. These are not. Uh, 16 will inflict one wound and two shock on you, sir. Ow. I will try to reality soak that. Spend a possibility. Please do. And make him miss, please. Yeah, that ain't good. He bites me. He bites you? Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. All right. Uh, uh, v, as you look back, you can just see a little blood starts kind of dripping down from the uh, uh, from you the said center. One, two? Uh, one, one wound and two shock. shock. Yep. Okay. Um, and the last guy was just following you. So it is now the here. Uh, and they all then look very tired. <sighs> <sighs> Got a little shock. <laughs> Um, Anton, <laughs> Lady Salvo, and V, you are up. Uh, 
How close are we to the destination at this point? We got to hit two You've got to hit three. D. You're on C. So if you yeah. hit it, it you got to wait for the, like, the card has to say that, that, that D is there. So at this point, you're kind of driving through the city. There's... It's more of a, an abstracted chase, so you're getting closer to your destination. We've been there already, but we made us take this left and down the alley and, you know, all these detours. We're taking the scenic route. <laughs> um, I don't have a good idea at the moment because I can't see... Oh, no, sunroof. it's a large sunroof in the back. You can clearly see the two people back there. You can also see that, like... The guy is just holding Anton up by basically his left hand and rabbit punching him in the side. Ooh. Ooh. That is not Marquise de Queensbury rules. That's right. Um, Bad form, I say. Bad <laughs> form, Peter. What was that, V? I was asking if Lady Salvo had any ideas. Oh. Uh... <clears throat> Well, I'm going to, on what I want to do is I want to try and, uh, should I, should I go now? Is that it's basically up to you? Saying? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so what I want to do is find something to knock this guy off the top of the car. All right. Uh, uh, let's call that a maneuver. And there's a, there's plenty of like, I mean, you're in an alleyway, so there's fire escapes. There's. Uh, well, I was thinking. I was thinking. I want to see like a, a large branch, like a tree branch, yeah. with like an alligator, like an alligator on it, and it's like, <laughs> what you you wouldn't ordinarily see that in New York, but this is living landish New yeah, York. So. Some, the, the alligators in the sewers may have a little bit more bite to them. Uh, those those stories so, will. All right. A maneuver. A maneuver roll. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Uh, that'll be a 13 total. Um, a 13 total will uh, will clip them, and so it'll you can either make them vulnerable or stymied from it. So it, Stymied, I think, yeah. Okay. That'll make it easier for uh, Anton to do stuff. It stymied, it penalizes them on their... It gives you the bonus to attack them. So they're, that one is off balance. That's vulnerable. Is that vulnerable? So stymied... Which one do you want, Mark? Which one do you want? Yeah, Mark, apologize. I, I, I totally I mixed those two up in does. my head. Vulnerable is a penalty to their defense. Yes. And uh, stymied makes it harder for them to do things. Um, yeah, let's make them vulnerable because then I can try to... That's what I do. Perfect. So I swerve, swerve the car underneath the branch and the guy gets hit by some leaves and stuff and an alligator looks after us. Yep. Uh, this is the one with his mouth open, I assume. Sure. So he just, he, like, he spits out a bunch of leaves <laughs> and a sock because... <laughs> it's New York. <laughs> it's... All right. Uh, so that's that's Hi. Lady Salvo's turn. Who's going next? Maddie. So is there someone still on a bike behind us? There is one person on a bike behind you. Okay. Focus. I'm going to try and shoot them out their front tire. Oh, all right. Uh, give me the shot. So what do uh okay. As you roll the window down. Windows are blown out. Uh, in, in the back. Drivers oh. and passenger side windows are still there. Okay. So that is a 14. Trying to decide if I want to add possibility. All right, so a fourteen is good enough to hit. It's not good enough to do extra damage. Um, uh, I will use the hero card I put out. Okay. As a possibility. Let's nice. Cheat. Oh, um, so that becomes 10, so that becomes 27, so that's plus, so that becomes a 19. That becomes a 19. All right, so that is, that is enough for good damage. So what is the base damage on your weapon? 
14. All right. And then uh, so you get to roll a uh, an additional d6. And remember, sixes count as five points, but they explode. One. So a 15. All right. Your bullets spark as they hit the, uh, the okay. bike. It sort of weaves back and forth a little bit, but manages to stay on track following you. Anton. Rabbit punch, rabbit punch. Oh, only one's vulnerable, right? Not both. Right. The guy in front of you is vulnerable. Um, but hold on. Uh, attack and defend is the approved action this round. So, uh, Maddie, you can see you have seized the initiative. Woo! Jim, I have a laser. I don't have the. Um, the beam of coherent light punches a hole through the plastic of the uh, the racing bike as it uh, moves after you, uh, but does not strike anything vital. Uh, but you've pissed the guy off because you've put a melty hole in his sweet, sweet bike. Is there any AP on that, Maddie? No. Okay. Not that I know of. Anton. It's all flash, no damage. I will hit the vulnerable one. Okay. It gives me a greater chance. With my pyrokinesis, hopefully that will knock him down and go from two opponents to just one, because I'm pretty sure I can only attack one person with that. Okay. So um, your target is their dodge. So his dodge or dexterity, instead of, I guess instead of being what it is, it would be two less, so it's it is... e two points easier for me, right. basically. So your target number is 11. Okay. Come on, lucky red die. That's not lucky. I will spend my hero card to roll a second. That's much better. 7 to 15 is 22, which is plus 8. That's 21. That's 10 over, so that's outstanding. That is an outstanding success. So I will roll 2d6 extra damage on top of my base 14 as his face catches fire. Go for it. Eight more points to the 14. Um, all right. 22. So a 22. 22 damage. All right. Uh, the Whatever it was sort of ignites like a Roman candle and falls off on the wayside, um, tumbling as you bounce off a curb and land back on a street. I get a card? Um, yeah, attacking. with an attack action. So you have action as your, your next card. Yeah, we've, gone, we've gone through cards tonight. All right. Next card, you seek... Oh, nope. I pulled the wrong card. There it is. You spot a weakness. Heroes go first, but they get a surge. Oh, no. D <laughs> is on the card, so you can exit the chase here. And maneuver or taunt is the approved action. So when you take your action, you're going to roll a d20, and on a one, you uh, disconnect. So let's not do that. Let's not do that. <laughs> so who's going first? But it would be so much fun. Oh, uh, you guys all hear the sound of a chopper. Um, actually, like, like multiple choppers. No, no, like helicopters. Uh, okay, I'd like okay. all of you just to give me a uh, a straight mind roll. As you uh, are driving down the street. This is reflexive. You don't need to worry about it taking an action or anything like that. Not fine, just a straight. Yep. You got a one on your find? Well, hey, you got it out of the way. <laughs> well, it's not a natural one. It's a total oh, of one. Oh, a total of one? Okay. You are too focused, Lady Salvo, on the streets. Uh, 15, I rolled an 18. Okay, you got a 15. All right, and then Anton? Once again, I got a three. His hands, as he's holding me, are, like, poking into my eyes. So I can barely see the target. <laughs> get it off, but his, I just can't see around this large hand in my face. All right. Uh, v. But I do hear, get in the chopper. You do, as you, as V, as you, because you're hanging outside. You just fired your laser out the side. You look up and kind of moving from behind you, over you towards the the coast you can hear the sounds of the harbor the like the fog horns of fairies you can see three um three choppers 
uh, flying overhead, and you can see you got a 15, so that is a good success. Sort of hanging out the side of one, you see the figure of Lapis, and they move past you and head towards the harbor. He's going to take out the ship? Oh no! Who's going next? Or I guess who's going first? Oh, uh, you want to go first, Ross? See if we can get to the D. Uh, if you want, I can do that. We can turn this miscreant over to the Delphi Council Guards. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> luck? Yeah. Uh, you know, just for fun, I will play the flurry card this okay. turn. So I'll get my additional action after everybody else is finished. All right. Uh, so here we go. It's a driving test, and I need a 15. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. That is exactly a 15. <laughs> All right. Uh, Lady Salvo, as you sort of come up over the hill, again, you're, the SUV, which is not supposed to, kind of catches a little air. <laughs> And you can see. Oh, it's like that. Uh, it's like that moment in Ferris Bueller. Whoa! Yeah. It's all like slow mo in the air. Uh, you can see uh, the the street you are on. V has guided you uh, perfectly. Uh, it is a straight shot down to the docks in the harbor. Uh, v, it is uh, V or Anton. You are up next. Go for it, V. So in the file folder that we took from the Delphi Council in Philly, was there any contact information for New York? No, but you do have contact information that you have for just going through normal channels. And you, I mean, if you want, you could give me a computer test to find the appropriate um, number just out essentially on the web. Yeah, I'm going to try and call ahead to the aircraft carrier and just give them an idea. All right. Some things. Go for it. Give me a computer roll. Natural 20. Nice! <laughs> Keep rolling! Glory! So when it explodes, you just roll one, right? I've got I've got glory out. Just keep rolling it. Well, I roll with um favor so when it explodes you just roll one extra right, right yeah you will just yeah i mean unless, awesome. you're, unless your favorable roll is also a 20 and then you will just sort of see who goes higher well yeah so that was what i was wondering so i rolled two dice the first time because computer's favorable one of them was a 20. yeah so then you'll just that 20 is the best roll so just roll that one again okay. so is a 12 so that gets me to 32 so that's plus 10. So that's a 22. A total of 22? All right. Mm -hmm. So you find a number. Uh, it it doesn't take you uh, very long uh, as, as you're kind of driving over the hills. And uh, with a 22, you got an outstanding success. So you hear this sort of gruff voice come over the phone. This is Quinn. Who is this? Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> so you know that Quinn Sebastian is the leader of the Delphi Council, that he is usually on this aircraft carrier. You have you found... You the red phone. That's right. You you found the big red phone. <laughs> Who is um, this? Look, no time. There are choppers heading your way. They're probably aiming to take out another chapter of the Delphi Council. I'm sure you've heard what happened in Philadelphia. You're part of the team that was dispatched. Take out those help. Is this, is this, uh, V? You said there's choppers? Yes. No, as far as I'm concerned, those choppers were cleared to land. Are you? Look, it's Lapis. Trust me. Take him out. <laughs> Are you? Engage your, engage your air defense system. Whatever he said. Um, you just hear this kind of <clears throat> grunt and the line goes dead. Which is really since it's <laughs> Anton. 
You've got your, your one arm's up in the air. He's got his hand wrapped around your face. And you can hear the plastic click of his, of the other person's helmet kind of uh, moving up. And this is a, uh, uh, the, the face on the other side was once beautiful. But whatever has happened to her has sort of, again, like the other person, sort of twisted their facial features. I do need a uh, a willpower or spirit test from you uh, as the fear of what this is and what it may do to you sits in. Ooh, that's not good. It's scary. It is scary. Be a feared. Be very It's afeared. spooky. Spooky. Nah, hopefully it's not too hard because that's my highest stat. That's a 13. A 13, you are not uh, overcome by fear. So, what would you like to do? Uh, and by I the way, will... for those of you who have not played Torg, fear is nasty. If you don't make that willpower check, you are very stymied, uh, which is uh, brutal. I was really hoping for it. All right, so, Anton, what are you doing? I love you too. <laughs> I will talk to her with. Uh... You need to get a refund from your plastic surgeon. And then I will hit her with pyrokinesis. All right, so, so you're going to... You're is that a multi-action? Multi-action, yep. So that'll be multi minus two. One roll. One roll. Here, let me redo your makeup. It's been another possibility. Um, and I do need surge checks for V and Salvo. Right. I got a four. 17. All right, so neither of them are ones. Whew. Lucky. This would have been a bad I got a 21, time. but I'm going to spend my action card to add plus three to okay. make it a 24. Minus two is 22. So 22 for my kinesis. Let's see. That's. But the maneuver is only a 19. All right, so, different... so you will uh, succeed um, with the attack. Uh, the taunt does not succeed. Mm. Do I get a card because I attempted it? Uh, I believe you have to succeed on the approved action. Oh, okay. Let me double do check. Do or do not. There is no try. There is no try. A character that succeeds at the specific okay. action this round. All right. Um, how much does, I mean, is it a good success or just a success for the uh, fire attack? Uh, you got a 22, correct? Yes, that was a 22. Uh, that is actually a, that is a good success. Okay. Infinity! Mm. Woo! I'm not super happy about that. So. Followed by five, so that's only 24 points of damage. Woo! Rearrange the makeup on that face. That's only 24 points of damage. Again, this one Dang. goes up uh, in flames as it, it hits the ground. Uh, you guys successfully... Does it, does it seem like they burn more than they should? I mean, I've fireballed enough people, or I say pyrokinesis enough people, legally distinct from fireball. That's right. Uh, Definitely that illegal. They kind of damage and blister, but you said they just kind of go up in flames. Is that different uh it doesn't seem it doesn't seem like they are so especially like especially susceptible to um to uh to fire but they do burn quite well they burn uh quite fiercely under the pyrokinesis so okay all right very good the uh the you guys as you kind of come down uh you you start to hear the sounds of uh, I love our chat. Uh, there's no organic way to bring up what's going on up, but just know that I am receiving messages from the producer, and you guys did get a match. Um, Lady Salvo. Oh, wait. I got to make a surge check. Flurry. Oh, yeah. You get to go again, and you get to make your surge check. A three. You're fine. Okay. All right. What are you going to do, Lady Salvo? I want to pull the e-brake and slide the vehicle sideways. 
open the door and I want to try and see. So Lapis is is hanging out of an ele- uh, a helicopter well, looking they, at us. They they they've sort of flown past you. You've still got All the right. one guy coming behind you, but if you want to try and take a shot at Lapis, uh, no, because they 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 were moving even way you know much faster than you guys were. Okay. What are you What are you trying to do? Like, let me ask you that. Well, I, I had in my head that she was like hanging out the door of the, the helicopter, but if that's if they're too far away, it's too far away. It's not a big deal. Um, okay. You do have the, uh, the, the and and that the last guy on his bike. There is the last guy on his bike. Yeah. So this is, I guess, a multi-action to drive and shoot. Give it to me. So, uh, all right. You can still spin no. around as the car no, spins. Uh, you can shoot and then go back the right direction. That way, it could be a maneuver. Yeah. So it's not. It's not a DC fifteen. You have successfully completed the chase. So I'm just going to say this is just a standard difficulty for both. So go ahead and give me the roll. All right. Yeah, it's not great, but I am favored. All right, so uh, that is a nine, which is a minus one to my fire combat of 22, which makes it a 21. Which is an outstanding success, so go ahead and roll the damage. Now, now if, if, this, is, if this is a multi-action, it's actually a 19. Okay, that's, uh, so then that would just be a good success. Okay, I think that, that probably makes more sense, yeah. just to make it, a, you know, because I am, like, yeah. swerving sideways so I can shoot out the door. Um so just just a good success with the gun, which means it's a single D D six. Uh, that's a two, so that's a sixteen AP two. Sixteen uh, AP shot. two. Um, do you hit the bike? Does it blow up? Do you hit the rider? Kind of like cracking the helmet, and knocking them back. What? How? How do you take them out? I shoot the bike's gas tank. All right. So there's this brief moment where you see the biker kind of lean forward as as they're they're approaching the SUV, and then the whole thing oh, just oh oh and she says smile you son of a because <laughs> uh, as... they have the mouthful of teeth they do <laughs> as you pull the door close and take off back down uh, there's just this flaming tire that sort of bounces past you. <laughs> As you head down, you can see a massive gun battle has sort of broken out over the, uh, uh, um, you know, out in in the bay. And you can see, uh, apparently, V's call got through to the right person because... Uh, Good job. Air, air defense uh, cannons are going off. The choppers have taken evasive <laughs> maneuvers. And you actually see... You see two things kind of as you kind of pull down the street. One is one of Lapis's choppers as it hits the water uh, and just... Uh, uh, so it, it yeah, in a, in a massive spray of water and smoke uh, hits hits the bay and starts, starts sinking. But you also see a... You hear that you you don't hear it, but you can see the white trail of smoke as something rockets out of one of the choppers and slams into the side of the carrier, blowing a hole up. What are you three doing? You guys have come to the, the stop. You can see that there is like the Delphi Council sort of maintains its own um, its own dock and kind of enclosed dock area. You can see the symbol of the Delphi Council. People are going crazy. There is somebody kind of um, running out waving at you and like like they're trying to wave you away and then they sort of point at lady salvo and lady salvo he looks at his phone for some odd reason (laughs) and then waves you waves you on huh talk about mixed signals (laughs) uh she comes running around to the window and knocks on on it and kind of leans back through the broken glass i'm agent I'm Samantha. We've got to get you onto the boat. Quinn has demanded your presence. What is going on? You're under attack. No time to explain. I'll just get I'll in. Just get the car. <laughs> uh, we can't. We can't drive to the ship, can we? No, no. Uh, we've got. We've got a boat waiting <laughs> for you. <laughs> Jump over and land on the on the yeah you know, the landing tarmac of the ship and. It's, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> it's it's out in the bay. <laughs> Like, I'm not even sure player's choice would get you. <laughs> a glory roll would make it. Like, physics. 
This talking about your wily e. coyote moment. This is the moment. I don't think we can. I don't think we can Dukes of Hazard our way over That's there. Right. Think <laughs> about halfway there and realize there's no road under us and fall. Yeah. See, right about then, the Storm Knights knew they were in trouble. You, uh, <laughs> you, uh, where you're going, there are no roads. So, uh, do you, uh, do you, uh, Samantha just starts running towards the dock house. Is there is is the ship moored at all? Is it like connected by ropes or anything like that? No, no, it's uh, it sits out. It, it sits far enough outside of the bay that any interference from kind of the presence of the Maelstrom Bridge and the living land doesn't affect the aircraft carrier. Okay, so I guess we got to go down to the boat. All right. Okay. Well, as you head board the boat towards the aircraft carrier we're going to say that this refreshes your possibilities like this Woo! is the start that that would that would, we had a we had a good act like a good action scene there does anyone need new cards before <laughs> yes. we uh maddie adrenaline mark how many you need uh how many was supposed to have three four ross you need, need one i need two uh, Ross gets willpower. Mark gets nemesis, and willpower as well. Man, you guys have spent a lot of cards tonight. <laughs> you can tell it's a good night at in Torg when your destiny discard deck is about the same size as the the draw pile. All right, you guys. Uh, the the Delphi Council agent gets you in the boat and you go rocketing. This is not the little boat that uh, no, continue. Oh, uh, that you took out of the Frenchman's uh, uh, Fortuna's den. This is this is a military boat, and you guys kind of take out and they're heading right towards the aircraft carrier. You can see there's a hole in the side. Um, another one of the choppers starts to, uh, it hits the side of the ship because yeah, the guns hit it and you can hear the sound of metals just screeching and the side of the ship lights up in fire as the fuel from the, uh, the chopper's fuel tanks kind of like spills out and ignites on the side. But you can clearly see backlit by the fire, several people jumping off, kind of scrambling up. And the third chopper, which was sort of holding back, has kind of circled around. It's taken out the aircraft or the anti-aircraft guns on one uh, on the front side of the ship, and you can see that it's slowly trying to land. Ross, what were you going to say? And then V. Uh, I just I just have a quick moment on the boat. Um, I'm 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 staring at the agents. Kind of got my Batman you know eye narrow thing going on, and she she kind of looks over me. She's like, "What? Do I, do I have something? You know?" And I'm I said no just memorizing your face are you trying to see if like when she turns if her skin doesn't like quite match up right would the oh, be I... that nefarious <laughs> v what what were you asking for um can i use the radio on the boat and tune it to the radio in the third chopper and essentially like spike the pilot with really loud feedback Play Fortunate Son. It always if you, works. If you, uh, if you want to spend a possibility just for the chance to do it, I'm going to make it a very, I'm going to make it a difficult roll to do anything. Um, but uh, again, with a possibility, with the access to the tech that you have, let's see what happens. Okay, what kind of roll would it be? Uh, we're going to say that this is going to be a. Uh, I'm going to say this is going to be a heroic roll as you are trying to. Uh, get this done through very low tech. So that's you're need an 18 to to successfully do this, and we'll make it a computer roll for you. Are we still considered in combat, or you're this... not? Okay. Oh wait, I didn't look up what my new card does. What does adrenaline do? Did you check a charisma mind or spirit check there, V? Yes, it's a mind. Okay. 
I have a card that can help if you need it. Same. What does... Sorry, I'm scrolling through a lot. Which one do you need? Adrenaline? What does it do? Adrenaline oh, is a plus three to a, any um, yeah. dexterity or strength or related okay. skill. Okay. Okay. It just gives me the shakes. So I'm at 15 to start. Um, and you guys said you had something? I got plus three willpower. Three. That to get me to an 18. Okay. You can have it. All right. Mark spending. All right. So with an 18, uh, you, I mean, to Lady Salvo, as she's watching and Anton watching this, you see V very kind of quickly take apart the radio on the boat, plug some wires into her, um, this, this, this deck that she carries with her. And there is this loud squelching noise that very quickly, uh, goes away but you can see the the uh the helicopter at not only does it just sort of wobble back and forth like three people are just are repelling out of the oh helicopter, no and the other the helicopter takes a a sharp turn and hits kind of one of those main um towers on oh. on the side of the uh on the side of, of the landing area and those three make it off and the whole rest of the chopper goes spinning out and lands on the far side of the Smith was like, what, what was that? That the, the conning tower. That was amazing. <laughs> that was one hell of a distraction is what it was. Good job V. All right. So it doesn't land on the ship. It lands somewhere it, else. No, it falls into the bay. Uh, so it looks like three people made it off that chopper and the rest uh, so you don't know how many hostiles are on the ship, but it's definitely not three choppers worth now. Primarily thanks to uh, V. So, all right, I'm going to take wanna, you. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to pay a possibility to have a Pliso store eat the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Samantha says, I can get you around to uh, the hand ladders on the side, unless you want to try and go in the... And she points to uh, the big hole in the side of the ship. Where do you want me to let you off? I'm going to try I think to the pieces. Oh. Right here's fine. Right here is fine. I can only take myself. All right. So she kind of brings the the uh, uh, boat. It kind of, uh, she takes it into the fire. Because right now, like, the, the fuel has spread out on top of the uh water and so there's this there's this bit of an inferno and she kind of skirts it and it's only about uh five meters above you like they they definitely were shooting kind of above the water line not wanting to get anywhere near there uh so you've got about uh, about five meters up is where uh the bottom of this hole starts and it extends almost 10 meters they blew a huge hole in the side of the ship so you're trying to telekinesis yourself up Lady Salvo. Yep. Outstanding success, which is plus four to my strength. So I just fly. All right. I don't really give I, a thing for speed, but I'm sure you'll figure out something. I just lift off the boat. <laughs> I mutter show off. <laughs> Every time, Lady Salvo. <laughs> um, I guess I'll, I'll climb up the side and help V. I'll, I'll basically kind of grab her and like the two of us will just go up the... the We'll climb. As he flies away, when he hears that, that he'll look back. Style. It's simple. Just drink the water from Tharkoal. <laughs> That's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. uh, Lady V and uh, uh, or sorry, Lady Salvo and V. Okay, I'm not not trying to conflate the two of you in my head. Um, give me a um, let's give me a maneuver roll here. Okay. Um, as you. As you climb to the side, and it strangely looks to the observer like you are just walking along, kind of crashed <laughs> over. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so there's a cameo from some celebrity. That's right. Uh, all right. So, yeah, maneuver from me. Uh, is there any way I can help her, uh, V make one, uh, make her check? Um, 
Yeah, what I'll say is if you get a good success, it'll... Uh, uh, you're already helping her, so it's going to decrease her number. But if you get every degree of success above standard, I'm going to let you decrease it by another two. Okay. Well, I rolled a natural one, so that's not great. Oh, no. V, what did you get? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, take my hand. I'll help. Whoa! <laughs> Splash. You definitely <laughs> grabs V's hand, but you do, like, the boat just kind of moves <laughs> chest away, and you don't actually grab the aircraft here. Uh, v, what do you what do you get? So, I initially rolled a five, so I went ahead and spent possibly <laughs> So that got me to 20, so Ooh. that's 7, so that gets me to 16. All right, okay. so and I'm going to say is- if you can get to 20, you you manage to catch Lady Salvo by the back of her, uh, her, her jacket, and she grabs ah. on. Do any of you have cards to help her here with this? 19, I can get to 19 with adrenaline. Does anyone have a card to help her get to 20? I don't. Does she have any penalties? That's in... I can relieve her penalties. She has no penalties here. All right. I can add, wait, I can wait, add wait. damage. Wait, how many cards can we play at a time? You, I think you can play oh, as many yeah. cards as you want, as long as you're not in combat. Because I have Rally, so everyone could ditch their cards and get new ones. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's do that. All right. Uh, Lady Selva, how many are you ditching? I am going to ditch uh, three. All right. Your new cards are Second Chance. Hey. It may be played after a mishap before the GM narrates what happens. Uh, you also get Drama and Coup de Gras. Okay. Well, I play Drama for her, uh, for uh, V. Oh, V, you get another possibility. So go ahead and roll another. That'll get. That'll definitely get you to to twenty. Uh, v, are you ditching any cards before we narrate how this goes down? Um, I will. Not quite sure how transfer works. So. So if you play it, you get to give your possibilities to other people. Um. Let's try something different. I'll ditch one. How many? Just one. Just one? All right. Your new card is action. Plus three to the total of your test. Anton, Ooh. you ditching anything? Two. Uh, supporter and alertness. All right. I think we have officially, we have now uh, the discard and the draw pile are now equal, <laughs> which is which means it's a good night of Torg. All right. So Anton, you come flying through the hole, uh, Lady Salvo. You you fall. I'm going. Uh, I'm uh, going to uh, say uh. that you take. Uh, you take three shock from that. Ouch. Uh, you kind of hit the side, but you don't fall into the burning water as V's reflexes kind of kick in. You're not quite sure if those are cybered reflexes or just regular. But it doesn't matter because she writes you and pulls you onto the side of the ship. And the two of you climb up. Thank Did you. Did you hear that she's the MVP? Yes. Yes. Very good. <laughs> I await the chat's response for all of the possibility that will come flooding into my into my phylactery. Um, right. Ver- Verily, she is the MVP. <laughs> All right, so you guys crawl in there. Smoke is everywhere. You don't know what this room was before whatever hit it exploded. But there are definitely signs that there were people in it. There are still papers, kind of burning papers, floating through the air. You can smell, um, like, burning metal, kind of this acrid scent to the air. And as you look, you can see that, like, right in... um, uh, the middle of like the like there's only one footprint in sort of the whole thing and it's got four toes and it's about the size of like if lady selvo put both of her boots together you would still see the outline of this footprint behind it and you can see where the door frame has kind of been bent as if something large forced its way through we have to hurry does it look like a cyber demon footprint Give me a mind roll there, Anton. Unless you would like to spend your alertness card. Uh, 
Let me read it and see what it says first. Uh, you notice otherwise unseen items, clues, or events. You may also spend it at the start of an ambush to prevent yourself from being surprised, which is, or all the heroes from being surprised, which is a huge use of that. I'll wait. All right, give me your mind roll. It was almost a 20 till it rolled back to two. Oh. <laughs> oh this, is, this is definitely the biggest cyber demon footprint you've ever seen, Anton. I figured, I figured. On another note, tomorrow I'm going to the game store and buying all new dice. <laughs> <laughs> you can never have too many. I, I feel like uh, Mark Mark's, uh, Mark's mantra is very similar to Logan Nine Fingers. One can never have too many dice. All right, so you guys head out into the hallway. Uh, klaxons are screaming. You can hear uh, kind of over the comms intermittently that voice that you heard that you spoke with on the phone we need more fire suppression teams at, at the ford holds get another unit of mps down to and and sebastian or quinn sebastian is just is shouting orders trying to coordinate and and maddie you got that outstanding success as you were searching for everything uh so you have a good idea of the layout of this ship you know where Quinn's office is, and you know where they keep uh, sort of their advanced computing systems. And their um, Quinn's office is sort of centrally located by a main elevator that will get you into the more restricted areas. But you could find another way there uh, with kind of the information you pulled as you were trying to research how to get uh, to the ship. Where? How would you like to lead the group forward? He's going to run for the computers. Okay. She's assuming that's what Lapis is after. All right. Anton and uh, Lady Selva. I dropped telekinesis, but I will try to activate awareness. We're all together, right? I, are you guys all following V as she heads out into the, yes, uh, the maze it. of the so aircraft? We're all together. Here? I'll follow her. All right. It's going to get my guns out. Hopefully a plus on your defenses if I can roll above a two, which seems to be par for tonight. I rolled a lot of twos. Again, I see a 20 flash and laugh at me. It's been a possibility. Mark, I know second a lot roll, of... Second pretty... roll is always 15 plus. First roll, five or less. Why? <laughs> why? Explain to me, JM, why? Um, I sneak yeah, into your, your you. house at night and microwave your dice when you're uh, not watching. <laughs> I had an outstanding success. You get plus two to your defenses. Ooh. Range is 20 meters, and I have to concentrate. So as long as you're within 20 meters of me, your defenses go up by plus two. Cool. Uh, your physical defense. Right. Does not increase interaction defenses. All right, so you guys are heading uh, down towards uh, the computer room, following the mental map, right? Uh, your little radar that's up on your on your HUD, the little whoop noise as uh, people kind of come around the corners. Um, but. We have had just, so, I feel like we're all having a good time because we're all making our pop culture references. Um, you come around the corner to the the massive uh, secure door. It's got biometric sensors. It looks a lot like the door that you saw um, back at the, uh, at the Delphi headquarters in Philadelphia. Mm hmm Okay. Um, so we needed a Delphi council member to open the door previously. Um, you did need somebody who was uh... <laughs> uh, the the official response to your question mark is that on Core Earth you laugh at dice, but in Tharkold dice laugh at you. You should have learned that long ago, Anton. Uh. Yeah, I think we should shut down the chat. <laughs> Not going to happen. Um, 
All right, so uh, Maddie, you do know that you you had to have somebody who was authorized to sort of access through here. You could probably bypass it with your computers. Well, here's my question. If I shook Agent Smith's hand, could I use my fingerprint mimic? Ooh. You did shake his Ooh. hand. You are yes. sneaky. I will allow you to use your, your fingerprint mimic to... Okay. Nice. All right, so what's yeah, like, you kind of, like, how does, it, how does it look in your mind when you activate this thing? Um, she looks at her hand, and you can see her eyes moving quickly as she's kind of filing for the right hand. And then she'll put, and it glows a little bit, and she'll pop it on. The, All on right. The nice. Uh, you see, you know, Assistant Deputy Director Smith, and it, it scrolls through a bunch of uh, data, and you hear the lock to the doors uh, pop, and the doors open. There's a little bit of that, you know, the steam, the pressurized air sort of like flowing back into it. And you can see a setup very similar to the one that you were. Uh, that you encountered uh, at the Philadelphia headquarters. There's the the place to put the drive, just like the you know the drive that you you took. Um, there's the 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 VR sphere that you could enter, and there's a large bank of monitors, and and the banks of monitors are um, they're in standby at this point. Uh... There's nobody else in here. There's not. And in fact, as Lady Salvo, as you ask that, one of the monitors kind of comes on and you see a woman in a in a domino mask. Is this is this how this works? Oh. And Lapis is is on the screen and she sits down. And you see she kind of kind of sits in this in this uh, kind of high chaired uh, seat as if it's not comfortable. You'll have to excuse me. This chair is not... I knew you could get in, V. That was the one part of the plan that I couldn't figure out. So now here's the question. Are you going to give me that name of lists, or that list of names? And she kind of spins the chair away, and you can see a large claw holding the head of Sebastian Quinn... Like, not, like, just the head, but holding the head up. He looks beaten and bloodied. Or do we have to see how much how many pounds of pressure it takes for that man's head to crack? You fiend! And that's where we will pause for tonight and pick up next week. In the heart nice. of the Delphi Council. With Lapis, with her thug's hand on the head of the head of the Delphi Council. This is the man that has rallied the world to the resistance of the invasion of the High Lords. And I will say I do have the villainous soliloquy card uh, that I basically printed out. But I will be playing that at the start of next session as Lapis nice. gets her chance to tell you what this has all been about. So, <laughs> thank you all for playing. Thank you all for watching. Uh, chat, I love you. And check out all of the other great shows on the Ulysses uh, channel. There are, um, we've got our game. We've got the Fading Suns game. There are shows for uh, Dark Eye and Aventuria and Myth Tales of Legend, uh, which Ross and I do on Thursdays, uh, the campfire chats. There's, uh, there are videos for Myth uh, Dawn of Heroes, which is the board game. Uh, there's the Ulysses uh, World kind of news show where if you want to find out more about what's coming down the pipeline, what is currently in development, what is currently on crowdfunding, which again, Tharkold um, is uh, on Game on Tabletop right now. And it is, again, the Russia sort of Mad Max meets Hellraiser, which is Ross, uh, that is the perfect mashup in my brain like everything now kind of clicks into place so go check it out we will be keeping track of where they're at with stretch goals and funding and that sort of thing um on each of the shows so we'll keep you updated and as always thank you so much for tuning in uh, we will see you next week with torg the four horsemen i am jm the gm and these are my horsemen uh, thank you all for watching <laughs>